I sense that you are eager to test the abilities of this prototype. Yes, Master Tin, it is a fascinating ship. Be patient. I am going to switch you to manual control in a minute, but before I do, I will activate your targeting system so you will be able to find me if you get lost. You should now see a target tracker on your HUD display. Notice how the target tracker stays on my ship at all times. When I fly out of your view, the target tracker will turn to an arrow pointing you in the direction to fly to get to my ship. When you are ready, Master Gallia, I will release the autopilot controls. I'm ready. Good. Switching to manual control. Try to stay with me. Much better. Since these controls might not be familiar to you, I will review them. Pulling the stick towards you will pitch the nose of the craft up. Pushing the stick away from you will pitch the nose of the craft down. Moving the stick to the left or right will turn the craft in the corresponding direction. The stick on your right controls your roll. To roll, just push the stick to the right and your craft will roll right. Pushing the stick to the left will roll left. Master Gallia, are you paying attention? Of course. Good. Let's put the fighter to the test by flying through a series of rings. When you fly through a ring, you will notice that the next ring will become more visible. If you miss a ring, you will have to go back and fly through it. Get ready. We are approaching the first ring now. I am removing the tracker from my ship. You will notice that the rings fade out after you have flown through them. Now on to the second ring. Use your braking control to slow the craft. One thing to keep in mind is that your turning ability greatly increases when you brake. This can come in very handy in battle. You are flying through the ring from the red side. Turn around and fly back through from the blue side. Try that one again. You have to enter the ring from the blue side. You will return to normal flight speed when you release the brake control. Good. We are halfway there. Your boost control to speed up your craft. Just as the brake increases your turning ability, boost reduces your turning rate. Just a couple more turns. This is the last ring. Well done, Master Gallia. I sense that you are eager to test the laser cannons. Your senses serve you well. I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's head to the shooting range. Very well. Let's continue. Ahead of us, there are several test targets for you to shoot. Use this control to fire your lasers. Once you have the target in your sights, fire your lasers to destroy it. I will start timing you from the first target that you destroy. I am sending you the first target to be destroyed. One down. Whenever you destroy a target, your targeting computer will automatically switch to the nearest hostile to your location. Now, get this one. I am watching your progress, so don't waste any time. If you finish quickly enough, we might have time for one more exercise. How's that? You did well today, Master Gallia. Now, let's see what you have learned. Are you up for a quick dogfight? First one to knock out the other shields wins. I thought you'd never ask, Tin. On my signal, we fight. As you wish, Tin. Fight? Master Gallia, I am waiting. Good. Ah, good hit. You got me. Good shot. 
Master Ten, it looks like your shields are a little low. Ah, oh, I am beaten. You truly are a master. Hmm. I've bested the Jedi Council's best pilot. This is quite an honor, Master Ten. Well done. Well done. Switching to autopilot. That concludes today's exercises. Thank you, Master Ten. <laughs>